Okay, Ayem Yem Shlishi. Today's Tuesday, and it's Ayin Odrish. Zayin Odrish. It's the seventh day of the first Odr. Now, Zayin Odr is the birthday of Meishar Abenu, and the yard side, the Stalkos of Meishar Abenu. Now, I'm not a Rav, and I don't understand halachas. I'm not a person of halacha. But I understand that a yard site, when you have an Ibi yard, is commemorated in the first order. In other words, the year that Meshach Rabbeinu passed away, which is 2,488, from what I gather, was not an Ibi yard, it was only one other. In other words, between when Meshach Rabbeinu passed away and the Yidin crossed the Yadin, was uh, 33 days. They crossed the Yad and Yud Nisan. Meshach was 33 years before, 33 days earlier, Zion other. And between when Sefer Devarim begins and Meshach Rabbeinu passed away is 37 days. Sefer Devarim begins, Achad Dasa Yei Mechedev, Rishchedesh Shvat. Between then and Meshach Rabbeinu's passing was 37 days. Meaning to say that the year Mesha passed away was a single order, but Yartzeit now commemorated in the first order. That's what I was told. I'm not a maven. I understand that the year of Yartzeit in both Chadash and is a derishi. On the other hand, the year Mesha Rabbeinu was born is a big issue. There is different opinions, the Klolos. One opinion is that either that year was not a leap year or the Mesha Rabbeinu was born in the second order. And according to that opinion, Meish Rabbeinu was placed in the Yamsuf on Shavuos. Right? Zayin Oder, till Vav Sivin, is three months minus a day. Because Meish Rabbeinu was born, like the Gemara says, he led us to Shiva, he led us to Meish Rabbeinu was born six months and one day after Yechavad and Amram got back together. Because of Miriam, the Nevu of Miriam, and the Yedua. So the, the Egyptians didn't examine her house until nine months. They figured it takes nine months to have a baby. So for three months minus a day, that means, I guess, 89 days or whatever it is, 88 days, Meshach Rabbeinu was kept by Yechevet. When did she put him in the mid, in the Nilos, in the river of the Nile? On Shavuos, Vav Sin. But there's another opinion that there were two others. And the Meshach Rabbeinu was born in Adarish. And that it was placed in the river Bezir, I saw. And somebody told me recently that he saw in another sefer that it was Chafal of Nisan. That says the day of Shvi Yishal Pesach. The, the day the Yidin said Oz Yoshe. And part of the reason we say Oz Yoshe is for the nest of the saving of Meshach Rabbeinu. So the Rebbe brings these two opinions. And he is inclined, the Rebbe is predisposed, the Rebbe prefers the Shita that Meshach Rabbeinu was born in an other Rishon. In a leap year, in other Rishon. Now you must understand that the concept of leap years is a weird concept. I'll tell you why. I, I don't know ancient history. But I don't think there was a concept of a leap year until the Torah was given. In other words, a leap year is a Jewish concept. It's a Jewish concept. You have a solar year and you have a lunar year. But there really is no such thing as a lunar year. There's only such a thing as a lunar month. If people kept track of time by moons, there were 12 months and there were 12 more months and so forth and so on, when the people were able to examine the astronomy better and they understood that their seasons don't follow the moon, they follow the sun and that there's a discrepancy of about 11 days between the sun and the moon, so they began to keep a solar year. But the concept of a solar year with lunar months, this is a Jewish invention, l'chayre, these two opposites that you're counting 365 and a quarter days for a year and at the same time you're counting 29 and a half days per month so that every second or third year you have to add a leap year so how could you have a leap year 80 years before you didn't left Mitzrayim and for the Eibesh you said Achedesh Hazel Lachem I don't know I don't know Pshat I'm sure there's Pshatim I don't know how this could be maybe it's based on the principle that and they were not learning Tehra, they were keeping a calendar. Whether they kept the mitzvahs or not, but they kept the calendar. I don't know how to explain it. But B'chaleifan, there is an opinion that the year Meshach Rabbeinu was born was a leap year. There's born another issue. So come to Chayisa, the Zion, other Aleph, in other words, when it's not, when it's a leap year, the first order is connected side to the Yarsa, to Meshach Rabbeinu, and side to the Yayim of Ledes, to the birthday of Meshach Rabbeinu. 
In Tavshin Nun Beis, Rebbe spoke about Zayin Adif. It was a couple of weeks before the stroke. Um, I guess it was Tzavre. And uh, one of the things that Rebbe said in Afabreng, and we learned it years ago, we learned all the Sikhs of that period, was that the Rebbe explained that Meish Rabbeinu was the first Nasi. Meish Rabbeinu is the first Rebbe, the first Indian of an Neshama Klolis, a soul that includes the souls of all of Klal Yisrael is Meish Rabbeinu. Now to be sure, there were earlier Neshama Klal Yisrael. Adam Rishim was a Neshama Klolis, and certainly Yain Kavavina was a Neshama Klolis, like we know that the word Nis Nasi is an abbreviation for Nisutse Shel Yanke Avinu. So Yanke was in a Shama Klolis. But the other Medishan and even Yanke Avinu, they were in a Shama Klolis, but they didn't have a flak. They didn't have an Eider. They didn't have an Eidor, which means a flak or a community. Meishan Abenu had Sheish Meis El 600,000 Jews that compared to the Madrega of Meishan Abenu were in the Madrega of Regal. Madrega of feet. So although the concept of a Shama Klolis, Exists by other Medishinim, by Yanke Ravino and so on. But the Mitzias of a Neshama Klolis, that means that he's connected to the Yam. And like the famous word from Isaac Homer, which I repeat often, is that Isaac Homer said that other Medishin was not a Rebbe. Because had he been a Rebbe, he couldn't possibly do an Aveda. What do you mean other Medishin was not a Rebbe? Other Medishin was the Neshama Klolis of all Neshama Klolis. But he didn't have Meis Leal Fragli Lelaglov. He didn't have a people, he didn't have a nation. He, his union was Neshama Klolis. But a Rebbe's Shmire comes from the Edom. Rabbi Isaac Humler said, when a Rebbe has Chesidim, it's the Chesidim who make him into a Rebbe. It's the Sheish Meisel of Ragli that make Meisha Rabbeinu, Meisha Rabbeinu. They raise him up to Madrega of a Nechi, like it says, Taka in the Maimed, of Yata Tetzara. And as a consequence, Rabbi Isaac Humler said, a Rebbe cannot do an Aveil. He's protected. By whom? By the Amcha, by the Edom, by the Edom, by his sheep, by his herd. By his community. So in this way, Meishan Rabbeinu was the first Rebbe because he was the first person who actually had a following of hundreds of thousands of people, millions of people, who compared to Meishan Rabbeinu with the Madrega of Regal. So the Rebbe says that Meishan Rabbeinu is the first Rebbe, the first Neshama Klolis. All the Neshama Klolis that come after him are sparks of Meishan Rabbeinu. Like it says in the Zayar, it's Pashtus of the Meishan, the whole dot of a dot is a radiation of the Neshama of Meishan Rabbeinu every subsequent generation. And the Medrash says, even stronger, Ein Daesh, Ein Beikim Meishan. There's no generation. There isn't somebody like Meishan Rabbein. So the Rebbe says, every Nasi of every generation comes from Meishan Rabbein. So then the Rebbe took it to another level. Meishan Rabbein, therefore, is the head, is the Reish B'nai Yisrael of all the Yidin of his generation. And he's also the head of all the Rosh B'nai Yisrael of all the generations to follow. And therefore, indirectly, Meishan Rabbein was the head not only of his generation, and all of the heads of the later generations, he's the head of every Jew who's ever going to live. Because he's the Reish of Reish B'nai Yisrael. So the Rebbe says, Zayin Adar is Meishan Rabbeinu's birthday. So it becomes the birthday of his whole generation. Zayin Adar is Meishan Rabbeinu's birthday. It becomes the birthday of all the Nesi of Yisrael who are the Nitzutzes of Meishan Rabbeinu's Neshama. So Zayin Adar becomes the birthday of every Jew who will ever live. That's what the Rebbe says. That's what the Rebbe says. It's of Shindan Beis. So the Rebbe spoke about the idea of a birthday. And he brought the Yerushalmi that we know from the Rebbe Sichas, of course, that Mazle gave it, and the birthday, the Mazle is strong. So the Rebbe says that Adar and Zayin Adar is the Mazel of Meishar Rabbeinu. It's the Mazel of all the Nesir Yisrael. It's the Mazel of all the Jewish people in the generation of Meishar Rabbeinu. And it's the Mazel of the Jewish people in all of history. And this morning I was walking to Yeshiva. I read one of the Pninim, those cards that they give out. And uh, what was written on the card was, it's based on a Sikhe, Chel Chafalov, I think, where the Rebbe says that it says in Gemara and it's brought in Halacha that Chedesh Adar is a good month for the Jewish people and the Gemara says explicitly that if you have a dine bahade nochri bahade akum you have a judgment with a goy with a ene yehudi Chedesh Adar is a very good time to have a mishpat with a goy because body mazla the mazla of Yidna is strong by Chedesh Av it says Faket you should avoid going to a mishpat with a goy lahavru but Chedesh Adar is a very good Chedesh and it's an appropriate time to go to a mishpat with the Eina Yehudi with the Nanju with the Goy so the Rebbe's cash is why is Adar special because of Purim but Purim is your Gimel your Dalit and the Rebbe says until that date the Jewish people stood ready to be killed by Kiddush Hashem. 
How could you say that the whole Adon is body Maslev? Tell you so, the first 12 days of that month, the Jewish people stood ready to die, Al-Kiddush Hashem. What's the body Maslev? Are you going to say, says the Rebbe, because Haman's decrees had already been overturned, and the Melech HaKashvedish had given Yidin a right to protect themselves. Eva Zeh doesn't begin with other. It begins from the end of Sivan when the second notes were written. What is it about the lungs of other? So the Rebbe says, the idea that the whole of Chedesh Adir is body Mazla is not because of Purim. It's because of Meshach Rabbeinu. It's the Yemu Ledes of Meshach Rabbeinu. And the Yemu Ledes of Meshach Rabbeinu, as the Gemara says, that Haman knew that the Eisei Chedesh Meis Meisha, Haman knew that Meisha Rabbeinu had passed away, but he did not know that Neilad Meisha, he didn't know it was the birthday of Meisha Rabbeinu, and therefore Haman thought that this was a Chedesh, that he could bring Rachman al Kiloi Kiloy into Klal Yisrael, and this was his mistake. The fact that it's Meisha Rabbeinu's Yehimuladis was a Shmira on Yidin for the whole Chedesh. So the obvious question is, if Haman knew Haman knew that a thousand years before him, Meisha and Abba Shalifel passed away as I and other. I don't know how Haman could have known that. Sidon, you're going to say it means the Malach of Haman, the Basil of Haman, the Shadish of Haman. Ebazeh, he should have known that he was born. If Haman had such good data, had such good sources of information, that he knew that Meishah Rabbeinu passed away in Zayin Adar, how could he not know Meishah was born in Zayin Adar? And the Tarot says Meishah Rabbeinu, Haman knew Meishah was born in Zayin Adar. But they didn't think it mattered. Because when a person is born, they're not yet a tzaddik. When a person is born, we don't know yet how they're going to live their lives. And as a consequence, the Yehim this is no big deal. Yehim Amisa is a big deal. So Haman knew Meishah was born and said, hey, big deal. But he wasn't Meisha Rabbeinu when he was born. Haman knew Meisha Rabbeinu passed away. He said, oh, this is a good chedesh to attack the Jewish people because Meshia and Shal Yisrael, Meisha Rabbeinu, passed away. What did Meisha Rabbeinu, what did Haman not understand? That Meisha is different. What's the pshat that Meisha is different? That by Meisha Rabbeinu, the Rashi, he never brings the Rashi from Masech to Megillah, K'day Yeim HaLeidah L'Chapar Al Yeim HaMisa. In the case of Meisha Rabbeinu, the Leda of Meishe Rabbeinu. In fact, he was born in this month as Machaped, corrects and atones and washes away the fact that he died in this month. This is Chedek Havav Shmeis. Why? Because it says in Chumash Rashi, when Meishe Rabbeinu was born, but Teda Eisek Kitei Zok Trashi, Nisma Lahabai Yeskul Ayeda. The room was filled completely with light. And we know that a tzaddik when he's born is not yet a tzaddik. He only becomes a tzaddik with Avoida. So what is the meaning of this Mala Abaya Kula Tayyid? That she says Rasa Shanela Maho Mother Khmesha Rabbeinu was born circumcised and the Tarot is because Mesha is a different kind of tzaddik. Mesha Rabbeinu is a kind of tzaddik in the moment of his birth, he's already Mesha Rabbeinu. Why? Because the tzaddik of Mesha Rabbeinu is not who he is. The tzaddik of Mesha Rabbeinu is who he is connected to, which is Klal Yisro. Kol Yisro. And even if one Jew or a second Jew or a third Jew is not the way he's supposed to be, but Klal Yisrael, the collective of the Jewish people, is always a tzaddik. And therefore the moment that Neshama falls and Nasibi Yisrael is born, he's already a tzaddik and he's ready to and he's already mishumar, he's guarded and he's protected. And Homan didn't understand that. Homan was about Nigla, understand? He understood Nigla the Tehra. And the Yartzai is the Yem of Tainus and Avelos. He did not understand the concept of the Yartzai being a Yem Simcha. And he certainly did not understand the concept that by Meisha Rabbeinu, the birthday, the date that the head of the Jewish people, the whole Jewish nation, is born, is already a Yom Tev and a Yom Simcha and a Yom of Eir. Even though the Tzaddik hasn't done anything, because a Tzaddik who's connected to Klal Yisrael is above Avedis, like the Isaac Homer said. So Zayin Adar, Zambayin in the Kedai, the Rebbe made Zayin Adar the birthday of every Jew. And that's the Pshat, why you say the whole order is a good muzzle. And when you have two others, you have 60 days of body Masle. I've been talking to you lately a lot, how with Dovshin and Beis, the Rebbe spoke about Bittu Bishishim. But you should know, the Rebbe also very many times during that month used the expression body Masle. Dovshin and Beis, 24 years ago. Others, the Rebbe spoke about Simcha and how Simcha is Mavatl Dinim and 60 days of Simcha is Mavatl Bishishim, is Mavatl Eni and Yonim Leitavim. But in addition, the Rebbe wrote many, many times, Asagizuntem Masle. Adir is a gezunta mazel. The bracha that comes to Yidin, Mumaila from the mazel is, is healthy, is body, is strong. And body, besides from being healthy, body also means certain. Zichet. Um, I have a relative who's having a mishpat with a goy, and it's a nin klali, it's a yin for shlichis, it's very difficult. 
And by Shlach process, the Mishpat was in Adir. And they got a deferment, yeah? But because there's two others, the second Mishpat is going to be in Adir Shady. So it's working out with Hashem's help. It's a body mass, it's a good to tight. And they has to be this gala, so said the Anyway, today is Meshach Rabbeinu's birthday. And therefore, the Shaykh to all of us. In Sefer Ham and Hagim, it says that the Rabbeim used to pray as I know. Rabbeim commemorated I know. They didn't say Tachnim. And they had other Han Hagim that they did. But only once they became the Rebbe the Nasser. In other words, Zayin know that it says in Sefer Ham and Hagim was a date which was connected to the Rabbeim the Miyuch. And only to the Rebbe once he was Eil al Kasan In other words, the Rebbe, before he was Rebbe, marked Zayin Adar, but he didn't have Min Hagim of Zayin Adar. The Rebbe himself sees this in a way, on a spiritual level, on a mystical level, as an evil game of letters, and they don't say Tachman. But for us, the practical aspect of it we don't have, but the spiritual aspect of it we certainly have. And the Rikir is, since Mishanichnas Adam Adam Basimcha, and you have a Dine Bahadayakum, you should make it a Chedesh Adam, because it's Mazal Adam Dogim. And Yid not compared to Dogim, Yid Yul Rebbe Karevare, it's that what? Alei Oyin fish have no Ayin Hara, because they're covered by the water and the sea. And Yisuf at Tzadik, it says Ben paid us Yisuf pays Alei Oyin. Yisuf at Tzadik is higher than even Ayin Hara, and we are all Zera the Yisuf, like the Rebbe says. So Bemele, we're above Ayin Hara. The Nor Teva Nidav Anigul Takam Beis Galus. We don't have to hide all the brachas that Eibush Yachelu Al Reishenu and Mismach Mismach Geula Legula from the Gula Sheinah Shleim to the Gula Amitayz Vashleim and take it from Yad Mamish. Okay, Lachayim Levrach.